so close that no man I could taste it. Thought of the Sarah don't need me no basic. Milk in the honey, like why would I waste it? Pull out the scripture, we fixing their faces. It's deeper than me. 144, how about the beat? Teacher gon' teach and the reader gon' read. Shining my light so the people could see. Like, look at the evils we facing. Like a doctor, we working on patience. Got love for my people, don't show me no hatred. Tribe of the priest, do not call me no hatred. Deal with their kids, that's to rule on me. Poison community, darkness saluted me. If you move it too hot, you not cool with me. Death to an eater, might read in the eulogy. You know that we not with the foolery. Like, you know what I'm on. Sticks in the grass, so I'm mowing the lawn. Praising the father from dust to the dawn. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Speak on my general, man, y'all federal. Don't worry, he calling y'all bluff. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Speak on my general, man, y'all federal. Don't worry, he calling y'all bluff. we was in them dark days. No guy trying to parlay. Quit the sin and better part ways. Before you get cooked, saute. Lord ain't bluffing, no, you dog. Nah. Bombs drop the Vietnam way. Bah. Only you on a straight and narrow. You don't get played just for walking the Broadway. Said it before, man, they lost in the truth. Sat on my chair, teaching my tools. Ain't hey, many men, we got the tools. Powers hey. was sending, but we be the proof. Better of a pen, they go to new. It's about to blow like it's playing the flu. Lost never end, he go with clue. Walking the sin and you get in the boot. Wait, <laughs> that's tough. Play with the word and you pressing your luck. Bliss in the block and we setting it up while you stand on the curb like you cannot get touched. Scoffers get tough, but no enough is enough. The father, he calling your bluff. One minute it's up, then the next minute you stuck. Watching the Lord run them up, hey. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Speak on my general, man, y'all federal. Don't worry, he calling your bluff. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Ways got changed up. When they talk wild, no labor. Last days get stranger. 11th hour, you in danger. Count at that cost at a pay up. Ay. Give a damn about the dog, this for Jacob. Ay. All my riches with God, I'm a layup. Now I'm surrounded with saviors. Ay. Ay. And still I discern if they really about it. The hate is hilarious. Ay. See the wicked, he died in the will of my God overtaking the areas. Trying to live in my ticket to heaven. That pestilence hit and I slide in the chariot. To overcome, I get telekinetic and spirit embedded. I cannot just bury it. Take a picture, you know what I'm into. Whoa. On a mission, don't know what I've been through. Whoa. Only reap what you saw when it been true. Hunters, we come back, you know we gon' end you. Woo. I got a book that'll heal me. Take it and read it and work like a sin like A servant of God that's a real me. Cutting off feet, I'm sure of the insult. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Speak on my general, man, y'all federal. Don't worry, he calling y'all bluff. Back down who? Back down what? All of a sudden, them scoffs is tough. Up in my KJV, I'm up in it. It give me a rush. One got touched, so we all got touched. Bend that block, now they all got hushed. Speak on my general, man, y'all federal. Don't worry, he calling y'all bluff. That's when we saw it. It's getting cloudy when our cherry is coming we out. If you bout it, white robes in the closet, redeeming my body, that's already done. I shot like a star when my brothers, my God is the sun. I keep them calm. That was finished before the first minute when all is begun. The sky might fall, but the prophets are still living on. Prophesying about destruction to come. I just wanna right all of my wrongs. These the end times. So I had to seek him ten times. The onslaught from the bomb drop got me praying I don't miss the deadline. In the twinkle of an eye, falling stars rising back to the sky. Fire falling, ain't nowhere else to hide. Heathens talking, but don't want to lie. My king come to set up the kingdom. Mash it all like he pressing the wine. For free dumb from the clutches of eight dumb. Flee said, cause I don't want to die. It's, it's, it's getting cloudy. When our cherry is coming, we out. It. If you bout it, white robes in the closet, redeeming my body, that's already done. I shot like a star with my brothers, my God is the sun. I keep them calm. That was finished before the first minute when all this began. I know that they hate me. Chariots come swinging, my Lord come and save me. Look at the vessel my Lord came and gave me. He came with the army, ain't talking no navy. Damn, trying in that sea, getting wavy. Damn, ain't no more running to safety. Damn, all of this power that run through my body, there's no way that they can detain me. 
to me get the blessing. Guys in the building, we kicking like Tekken. Like, want the rewards, so I'm kingdom investing. Snapping like Thanos in different dimensions. It's truly a blessing. Chosen by God, hope you paying attention. Ain't no more pain in a day of redemption, at least for the ones that he calls the election. It's getting cloudy. When our chariot is coming, we out. If you bounty, white robes in the closet, redeeming my body, that's already done. I shot like a star when my brothers, my God is the sun. That kingdom come. That was finished before the first minute when all is begun. As I said before, we'd always be. See it for the taking. China's about to fall, the economy is breaking. We ain't asking for the kingdom, man, we about to take it. World domination, we gon' take it. I don't need your money, yeah, we coming out the matrix. The London Bridge is falling, the Eiffel Tower falling, Statue of Liberty is falling. Call that world domination. Not in the zodiacs, but the stars line up right. Thought that was a plane, that's an angel made of fire. The Lord gon' flip the cars and it started with a fly. You been sitting in the church while your pastor teaching lies. We after the world domination. For the blacks, Hispanics, and all of the natives. For Dominicans and Haitians and Jamaicans. Like bleach to a white tea, you nations can't fade us. We gon' take this kingdom, break it down, and build it up. Bring the treasures in the stars, tell them fill it up. All the nations drunk the cup, tell them sip it up. Even if their bodies dropping, they ain't get enough. If you not walking in the way, better get up out the way. Better watch your words, cause he writing what you say. If you work iniquity, then death, you getting paid. Just we coming soon, I can't wait to see the. Day. I just seen the vision, presidents and politicians, all they kings and all they princes, everyone was bowing down. Yeah. With the rod of iron, lift the banner up to Zion, speak against us, then you die and beating nations to the ground. I done seen the future in America, won't we'll make it. I can look at Europe and I see it for the taking. China's about to fall, the economy is breaking. We ain't asking for the kingdom, man, we about to take it. World domination, we gon' take it. I don't need your money, yeah, we coming out the matrix. The London Bridge is falling, yeah. the Eiffel Tower falling, Statue of yeah. Liberty uh, is falling, call uh, that world uh, domination. I just woke up feeling like I run around the planet. Yeah. Just like Jeremiah, you know that the Savior planted. They know we ordained to be a prophet, so they panic. Word. With my rod of iron, I'm about to do some damage. When them waters open, I ain't trying to talk. All them babies getting rocked on us in the block. We gon' make the heat and hot like a dinner pot. Then I'll break them in the shivers till the quiver stop. Whipping and flipping my people opinion till all the chosen are sealed. Yeah. You know that I've been up then as a watchman, so I've been watching the field. Yeah. All I've been seeing is servants, our horses, thinking they king of the hill. We rising up to collect what they owe us, they gon' be paying the bill. I done seen the future in America, won't make it. I can look at Europe and I see it for the taking. China's about to fall, the economy is breaking. We ain't asking for the kingdom, man, we about to take it. Take it. World domination, we gon' take it. I don't need your money, yeah, we coming out the matrix. The London Bridge is falling, the Eiffel Tower falling, Statue of Liberty is falling. Call that world domination. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I'ma tell. I'ma say. Listen here, little whippersnapper. You making moves, but uh, you ain't ask my permission. See, that's your problem. You trying to be different. You was born with four cheeks like everybody else. Now you're holy. Holy draws is what's holy on you. Can I get a witness? Yeah, you're hating. You ain't living right, you ain't got haters. Spread the light, show what you made of. You ain't living right, you ain't got haters. They the greatest, but we gotta show them greater. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times we turn to hate. When we bring the light, like Whoa, yeah, they on the low That is what I know, spiritual Even demons speaking, label Christ the go That's a quote, cause you better know Compliments and tone, there's a tone, man Save your soul One, two, three, four Now really been feeling your energy We tell the truth and we your enemy Some harbor and hatred and kin to a friend of me Finically flip through a friend of me I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah We teaching our people identity I'm like, yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. Hating you, murdering mentally. Yeah. Oh, Bible told you there be wolves up in the mix that we gotta go through. Twelve tribes to represent, teach and seal the souls too. We gon' let a hate vent, turn the heat up post you. Yeah, you ain't living right, you ain't got haters. Spread the light, show what you made of. You ain't living right, you ain't got haters. They the greatest, but we gotta show them greater. Like one, two. Check 
I will keep in check, be about respect, that's a bad judgment coming, don't take a seat on that, cut the check, that's a female cat, gossip and regret, I told you watch the way we move and break commandments in your neck, I repeat, I'm a better man, I just did it, that a matter of fact, sing got pretty that, the kingdom on the map, Michael Jackson, we beat it, yeah, lift it like a jack, Jerry. Yo, let's, let's stand and face Jerusalem. Check, 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 check. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets. Lord Father, we come, to, to, we come before you today, Lord, on the closing feast of the Passover, the closing feast of unleavened bread, Lord. Thousands of years ago, you delivered our forefathers out of Egypt, Lord, from the oppression of the Egyptians, Lord. 
Lord, we come before and you commanded us that we keep this feast each and every day, each and every year, Lord, throughout all our generations. We are coming back to our nationality and to the understanding of who we are, that we are the children of Israel, and we are keeping thy feast as you have commanded us, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord, and send, your, send our King, our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, to deliver us a second time from the land of our captivity, Lord, from spiritual Egypt that we have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, Lord. Send your Son and deliver us, Lord, Send plagues and destruction on the nations the same way you send plagues and destruction on them in the past, Lord. And deliver us, Lord, from our captivity, Lord. And have mercy upon us and heal us, Lord. In the name of your, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Everybody say hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Men of Israel, sons of God. Patient saints, sons of God, hand salute, salute down, face sisters. To the honorable mothers and daughters of Sarah, we say shalom. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Shalom. Ha happy. Yo, yo. We in this building. We in the building. We in the building. Yes. So we are about to close out the feast of unleavened bread. Okay. This is uh, this is tonight going to be the beginning of the last day. Okay, from tonight to tomorrow night. Okay, so we are about to close off the Feast of Unleavened Bread, man. You know, shout out to all the bishops and deacons and captains and officers. <laughs> worldwide. You know, this Passover, we did it a little different, you know. You know, usually we, we, we usually thousands of us come together in one spot. You know, and we spend a lot of money and so forth and so on. Well, this year, instead of doing that, we flood the earth, man. Right. You understand? We flood the That's earth. That's right. You know, we had brothers, we had bishops and deacons and officers all over the world, man. You know, I lying. I was feeling a little, I was feeling a little sad and stuff like that, man, yo. I, yo, I want to be there with the brothers, man. You know, but when I think about it, somebody got to stay back and hold on the fort, right? That's right. Yeah, man. So then I, then I start feeling good. I say, all right. I say, they win the battle, I win the battle. You understand? You know, when they war in and they win the battle, I win in the battle too. Okay? But what you all see taking place on the earth today, okay, with the leaders in IUIC, is the Acts of the Apostles still being fulfilled right now? Okay, the Acts of the Apostles end, end this year. It's not going to end until Christ returns. And his prophecy is being fulfilled. Okay, that's what you all see taking place. Now, hey, I want you to read, before I get into the class, read. I want you to read uh, Psalms 19. What I want, Psalms 19 and the line. Yes, sir. Now, I'm watching... Yon out there, Captain Yon meet, meeting the vice president of uh, uh, um, Libya. You know, I seen brothers doing radio shows all over. Like, yo, I'm like, damn. I seen brothers on the street teaching, casting down imaginations. You know, and as they do it, I seen war pop off. I like, yo, the, you know, I like my, I say, I'm like, yo, brothers bringing forth destruction on the earth. 
You know, the reason why you see these things happening, woe and all them things popping off is because of what my brother's doing. Yes. I'm, get, I'm getting chills. You know what I mean? That's right. I'm here yesterday, and I'm hearing Iran fire missiles to Israel and so forth. I'm like, yo. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? But then I understand what's going on as, as the sons of God prophesy and teach this gospel on the earth, the Most High is sending plagues and destruction on this earth. Okay? The same plagues and destruction that he sent on Egypt, ancient Egypt, them same plagues coming on this earth today, brothers and sisters. Okay, read that for me. Psalms chapter 19, verse 2. Day unto day utter its speech. Yeah. And night unto night showeth knowledge. Read on. There is no speech nor language where their voice where is not, who voice? Where their voice. The their voice is the disciples of Christ, the apostles. Where their voice, read on, is not heard. Is not heard. Read on. Their line. Their line, read on. Is gone out through all the earth. Is going out to to where? All the earth. Is going out to all the earth. Their line. Read on. And their words. And their words, meaning their teachings. Their teachings is the teachings of Christ. Read on. To the end of the world. Is to the end of the world. Those are y'all that could put one and one together. Y'all understand that's two. Y'all know what that means. I ain't got to spell it out for y'all. Okay? I don't have to spell it out for y'all. Okay, the most high, is every, the, most high the, the men of God, the Lord is going to make sure he's going to help them to push the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. That's you right. Understand? Wherever the apostles at, the Lord is going to make sure that their line or their teachings go out throughout the ends of the earth. Okay, so it's just me. It's big things going on on the earth right now, man. Big things going on on the earth. No. Let me see. So, bam. Let me. The topics I'm touching on today, I, I'm going to go over Doomsday. Doomsday, the year of deliverance. I'm going to keep it along. The same guidelines are the same guideline of salvation and destruction. Okay, I'm going to keep it around that same, those, those same guidelines. Okay, about salvation of our people. And destruction of our people, and destruction of the enemies, and the wicked of our people. Okay? Yeah. So, I want to start off with Exodus 13 and 2. Exodus chapter 13 and verse 2. Yeah. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. We don't. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which he came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. Uh -huh. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. So no leavened bread supposed to be eaten. Okay. For these last seven days, we wasn't eating nothing with leaven in it. Read on. This day came ye out in the month of Abib. And that's when we came out in the month of Abib. Read on. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread. It says seven days we should eat unleavened bread. Read on. And in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. And the seventh day shall be a feast unto the Lord. So, so now, we're going to do this again. I did it last time, the beginning of the month. Of, I'm going to do it again. I want you to put the, the calendar up there. March. Put the calendar up there, March. I'm going to show you all how we know that today is, now is the month of Abib, and how we check the Passover. Okay? I'm going to do it again. Now, the month of March, 
Now in the month of March, when did spring begin? Spring, spring begin when? The, ninth, the 19th, right? Okay, spring began on the 19th. Now, when, when was the first new moon? I want to say new moon, I mean when the moon is bright. When was the first new moon after in the month of spring? When spring began, the 25th, yes, right? So a couple of days after was, was, the, was the new moon, which is when the moon is full, okay? I want you all to program your mind. They put full moon there, but that's, when, that's the new moon. When the moon is fully light, that's the new moon. <laughs> Why? Because when God created the moon, it was a light. That's when it was new, right. okay? So now, we're going to check how much days we got to check for the Passover, 14 days at evening, right? Okay, so let's check. So remember what the Bible says. The mi remember, when you read the scripture, it says the evening and the evening is what? One day, One day right? So when, uh, when, when, was the, when was the new moon? 25th. The 25th. So the 25th to the 26th is what? Okay, so that's one day. The 26th to the 27th, that's what? The 27th to the 28th. 28, 28, 4, 5, 6. Now let's get the other calendar. We're in April now. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the 8, the 8 that passed, that was last week. That was... The eight was on a Monday, and the eight was the beginning of the feast. Okay? The eight was the beginning of the feast. The eight at evening. The eight at evening is what? Is the 15th, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so now it says seven days. On the seventh day, we should also have a holy convocation, right? So let's check seven more days. So from the eight to the to the ninth is what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, I went too far. Check it again. Eight to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, six. Six that evening is what? So tonight is tonight is Sunday night, which is the sixth at evening. Make it what? Seven. So we in the seventh. So when the place get dark, we are in the seventh day, and it's gonna end when the place get dark tomorrow. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm telling you, we might not be around each other all the time, so I want you all to learn to to check it. Okay. So now, now go back, go back to, go back to the eight. Now, I'm going to show you all something, brethren. Now, some people might say, I, you, I see the way how we, how we conk, conk when the month begins and so forth. Some of you all out there might be gainsayers and say, oh, you all off. You all off and when you all, you all call the, the full moon, the new moon, and you all off and so forth and so on. Now, I touched on this already in, in um, Daniel 27. Daniel 27 Daniel 7 and it's 7 and 27, it says, And he shall think to change times and laws. The moon was given for what? For time, right? Okay, so if the white man want to change the time with the feast days and all of that, what you got to change? What, what, when the new moon start? Okay, so that's what he did. So now, I'm going to show you all that in us, the way how we keep the Passover and the new moon, we are 100% correct okay no <laughs> okay now let me show you all something now go to Matthew 16 Matthew 16 and 1 the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 1 the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show him a sign. No, from no, no, him. that's not what I want. Go to Luke 23 and 44. Luke 23 and 44. Luke chapter 23, verse 44. 
And it was about the sixth hour. And there was a darkness over all the earth. So when Christ died, when Christ was crucified, it says that there was darkness all over the earth. Right? Now I'm about to hit you all with something. This going this going to blow everybody's mind away. Okay? This is why I said the way how we celebrating the Passover, the way how we celebrating when the month begin, it's 100% correct. Okay? Read that again. And it was about the sixth hour. And there was a darkness over all the earth. So there was a darkness over all the earth. Read on. Until the ninth hour. Until the ninth hour. Okay, read on. And the sun. And the what? The sun. Read on. Was darkened. Was what? Darkened. And so in order for the sun to be darkened, what got to take place? A solar eclipse. You all understand? A solar eclipse got to take place in order for the sun to be darkened. That's right. So it was daytime. It was 12 o'clock. And the place was dark. Okay. When, when did that happen? Didn't that, didn't not that happen last week? Didn't not that happen the beginning of the Passover on the 8th? Okay. Proving what? Proving that the way we celebrate the Passover is 100% correct. Okay. Proving we are 100% correct. All praises to the Most High, and I ain't knocking brothers. You know, brothers might, I ain't knocking brothers that don't understand. I might say we off or so forth, because the Lord have not showed them or give them that understanding as yet. You understand? I pray, my praise that in the future the Lord will open their understanding to fully understand that. But right now the Lord did not give them that understanding, and but we do understand. That's why we keep it the way we keep it. Okay. So, thousands of years ago, 2,000 years ago, when Christ died, there was a, what, solar eclipse. And the only way there could be a solar eclipse is that, a so the only way there, should, there can be a solar eclipse is if there is a dark moon. And a dark moon only comes when? 50, 14 days. 14 days after the new moon. That's right. You all understand? So when Christ was on the earth, when the Passover, when Christ kept the Passover, the first month, they checked 14 days. And when he checked that 14 days, there was a dark moon. Okay. And when Christ was killed, when Christ was crucified, when he died, there was a solar eclipse. And that solar eclipse it didn't last seven minutes. It, it lasts up to three hours. Right. You all understand? Up to three hours that solar eclipse lasted. It was not a lunar eclipse because a lunar eclipse cannot affect the sunlight. You understand? A lunar eclipse affects the, the moon. It was a solar eclipse. Proven how we celebrate the Passover and when we check when the month comes in, it's 100% right. Why? Because thousands of years ago, our king kept the Passover and there was what? There was a solar eclipse. That's right. I hope you all understand. A solar eclipse could only take place if you follow the month how we follow it here in IUIC. <laughs> you all understand? That's the only way Christ could have died on a solar eclipse. You have to be keeping the month the way how we keep it. Okay, when the moon is bright in the sky. That's the beginning of that's the beginning of the months. Okay, that's the new moon. When the moon is bright in the sky. Two weeks later, it becomes dark. There could only be a solar eclipse with a dark moon. Okay, so we are hundred percent correct, man. All praises. Give the most high up clap for that, man. Go. I'm going I, I, I send a video there of the dark of uh, a solar eclipse taking place. Now read that scripture again for me, Ja. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 23, verse 44. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth. And there was what? A darkness over all the earth. Is video, no, not that, not that. The video number nine. Is it nine? Yeah. 
Yeah, and go like 55 minutes in or something. So read it again one more time. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth. So it's going to let you know where that darkness came from. Read on. Until the ninth hour. So three hours there was darkness on the earth. Read on. And the sun. And the what? The sun. Read on. Was darkened. How was the sun darkened? By the moon. By the dark moon. There was a solar eclipse. Okay, now play that. Let's see. Let's see how a solar. E Let's give an example of what took place when Christ was crucified. Jump, jump forward. More, more. Yeah, there. Leave it there. Let it play. So this is what a solar eclipse looked like when it says the earth was darkened. You see how it's getting dark little by little. When you look on the right hand side, the sun and fully, the, the moon have not fully engulfed the sun as yet. Well, I want you all to see this took place Monday that left, the Monday that passed on the 8th, on the Passover. You see that? When it says the earth was darkened, that's what happened when Christ was crucified. There was a solar eclipse. <laughs> That's what happened, brothers and sisters. When Christ died, there was a solar eclipse, and it lasts three hours. Okay. You see how the place got real dark? Okay. So you could take that down. Now, <laughs> so that's what happened when Christ was crucified. Okay, when Christ was crucified, there was a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse could only take place under a dark moon. Proving that the way how we keep the, we celebrate the beginning of the month is 100% correct. Okay? And y'all could gain, say, and try, y'all can't fight against that. As I said, my brothers that don't understand it, Lord's will in the future, you all will. But right now, the Lord gave us the understanding of fully understand how when the moon comes in. Okay, so when the month comes in, all right, so from there, uh, now when it's going to, now let me tell you all something. There will not be, I don't, I don't think, I don't think the, the America going to experience another solar eclipse. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think nobody here in America will be able to put on glasses and watch at another solar eclipse again. Okay? And there's a reason why I say America. Okay? Because according to the prophecies, this place is going to be totally destroyed. Some of y'all might be like, Deacon, what do you mean by that? Now, let's show you all. When is the next solar eclipse going to take place here in America? I'll send an image there. Okay. Now, all right. it says, read August, that. August 20. August 23, 2044. So, the 2044 going to be the next solar eclipse. Okay, 2044. All right, August 23rd, 2044. So, that's like what? 20 years from now, right? No. IUIC been, uh, been, been started a little over 20 years. And you all see what we accomplished, right? No. I'm going to show you all why why does it why is it I'm saying that they I don't think they're going to be another everybody in America going to be sit down and watching another solar eclipse. It's not going to happen. I'm going to show you all why. Go to Luke. Luke 16, Luke Luke 16 and 1 and second Ezra 9 and 5. The book of Luke chapter 16 and verse 1. What are you talking about? Okay, let me show you all some. Read on. And he said also unto his disciples, there was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he, was, that he had wasted his goods. No, it, that's Matthew 16 and 1. Matthew 16 and 1? Luke 16 and 7. Ma Matthew 16 and 1, that's what I wanted? The book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 1. Yeah. 
The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show him a sign from heaven. Read on. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. So you can look at the sky and tell whether a lot of rain going to fall, if it's going to rain or, or if it's not going to rain. You are able to look at the sky and tell, tell the weather, right? So this is what Christ is saying. Read on. For the, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can ye not discern the signs of the times? But ye cannot what? But can ye not discern the signs of the times? The reason why I said that America doesn't get another 20 years and there would nobody going to be sit down watching another eclipse here in America is because we are able to discern the signs of the times. The signs of the times. The signs of the times. Meaning what? Meaning Christ left certain signs in the Bible of what time we're going to be living in when he's about to return. And guess what? We could discern the signs of the times. Okay, that's why I said America does not have too long again. Okay? This place, there will not be another solar eclipse. Everybody ain't going to be getting on glasses, sitting on chilling, watching at another solar eclipse. No, 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 no. Okay, let me show you all something. Go to 2 Ezra 9 and 5. 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world Read on. hath a beginning and an end. So everything that's made in the world, it have a beginning and an end. Read on. And the end is manifest. And the end is manifest. Read on. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings. Have plain beginning. Read on. In wonders. Read on. And powerful works. And endings in effects and signs. And ending in what? In effects and signs. In effects and signs. Okay? So the effects and signs is the signs that we got to look for to know what time we are living in. Okay? What is the effects? The effects is the wars. Okay? The famine. The earthquakes. The things that you see taking place on the earth today. God gave us signs to know when his son is about to return. Okay? Um, from there, go to Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 1 and 1 Corinthians 24. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 1. Read on. Wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily, and sweetly does she order all things. So wisdom order all things. Read on. I loved her and sought her out from my youth. I love her and I sought out wisdom from my youth. Read on. I desired to make her my spouse and I was a lover of her beauty. Read on. In that she is conversant with God. She is what? Conversant with God. Wisdom is conversant, conversant with God, meaning wisdom be talking to God. Read on. She, magnifi she magnifieth her nobility. Read on. Yea, the Lord of all things himself loved her. The Lord of all things himself loved wisdom. Now, jump to verse 8. Verse 8. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old. She knows. So wisdom know things of old. old. Things of old like what? Like how the earth was created and all of, the, all of those stuff. Wisdom know these things. Read on. And conjectureth aright what is to come. And, and what? And conjectureth what, aright what is to come. And wisdom understand what is to come in the future. You understand? That's why the scripture says declaring the end from the beginning. Read on. She knoweth the, subtly, the subtleties of speech. Read on. And can expound dark sentences. And can expound dark sentences. The dark sentences is the dark sentences in the Bible. Yeah. Okay? Read on. She foreseeth signs. She and what? She foreseeth signs. She foreseeth signs. Read on. And wonders. And wonders. Read on. And the events of seasons and times. And the events of seasons and times. You all understand? 
Remember what we read early on. Christ says, can you discern the, se the, the times, the, the seasons and times? By, you know, that's what he said, right? Can you discern the signs of the times? The scriptures is letting you know wisdom could discern that. Okay? When you have wisdom, you have the spirit of wisdom dwelling in you, you could discern what? Read that read last part again. What wisdom does. She foreseeth signs and wonders. The signs and wonders that she foresee is what's going to take place in the future. Okay, read on. And the events of seasons and times. And the events of seasons and times. What, what is the big event that's going to take place on this earth that Christ is going to, when our king is going to return? Whoa, whoa, whoa. World War Three, Armageddon. Okay? Armageddon. Okay, so wisdom foresee it. And wisdom, guess what? Wisdom give us give seasons and times when these things are gonna happen. And guess who wisdom show that to? Us. That's you all right. understand? So when I say America might get two, 20 years again, it's because of the wisdom that the Mosai is showing us, okay, in the scriptures, all right? I says might because I don't know. It might, it, it might happen earlier or it might happen a couple of years later. I don't know. That's why I say might, okay? So from there, check it. I want you to go. What's the other scripture? Read that for me. Matthew chapter 24. You want to start with three? No, no. First Corinthians 24, 1 and 24, and then jump to 30. And then let me get John 2 and 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. Read. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks. Read on. Christ, the power of God. Read on. And the wisdom of God. So Christ is what? The power of God. Read on. And the wisdom of God. So Christ is that wisdom. You all understand? He is that wisdom. No. Jump to verse 30. Verse 30, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus. Read on. Who of God has made unto us wisdom. Who, who have made unto us what? Wisdom. So Christ is our wisdom. Read on. And righteousness. And he's our righteousness. Read on. And sanctification and redemption. Okay, from there. Read that for me, John. Yeah, 2 and 27. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. So the anointed that we have received from God, it abide in us. Read on. And ye need not that any man teach you. Read on. But as the same anointing teacheth you of so, all things. So what teacheth us? The anointed, the spirit of Christ that's in us. Okay? That's how we know what we know. That's how we, we could discern the signs of the times. Okay? And we could tell that, oh, our king is soon to return. Okay? From there, I want you to go to John 14 and 26. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. So Christ says the comforter going to come in his name. Read on. He shall teach you. All things. He's going to teach us all things. Okay? That's teach us all things like what? Teach us all things like the signs at the times. Teach us how to apply his laws. But also the signs of the times. Okay? Us being able to watch out the signs of the time and being able to tell that, that, that Christ is soon to return. Okay? No, go from there. Read it again. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Read on. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to our remembrance. Okay? No. I want you to go to 2 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But I want you to read back. Matthew 16 and 1 again. Matthew 16 and 1 again. And then 2 Thessalonians 5 and 1. 
is First Thessalonians or Second Thessalonians? A thief in the night. All right, so read that for me. The book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? So we are able to discern the signs of the times. You all understand? The signs of the times is what? Is, an, is the times that we are living in. Okay, the time that we are living in is in the end of days. Okay, the times that we are living in is the time that our king talk about. Okay, so we are able to discern what time we are living in. The, the signs are the times. Okay, now go to Second Thess um, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1. But of the times and the seasons. Of the si but of the times and the seasons. Read on. Brethren. Ye have no need that I write unto you. Why he said you got no need that I write unto you to tell you about the, the time and the season. The time and the season of what? Huh? Who could help me? Give it to the brother. Give, this, give the mic to the brother. The signs and the seasons of what? Why, why is he say I don't need to write you to tell you about this, the time and the season? Read that again. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Shalom, D. Happy Sh feast. Shalom, shalom. Um, the reason why we don't have no need to be told is because... No, no, why he's telling them, okay, this is, why is he, why is Paul telling the Thessalonians... The time and the season, you have no need for me to write and tell you about the time and the season. Um, because it's already given to us through the Spirit, through, okay. the, through the Word. Right, right. Because it's already given to them to know the time and the season. Correct, yes, sir. Okay. So, read it again. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly. For yourselves, you good. So for yourselves, you know perfectly what? That the day of the Lord. That you know perfectly the time and the seasons. That the day of the Lord going to what? So cometh as a thief in the night. Going to come as a thief. Okay, read on. For when they shall say. For peace, when what? For when they shall say. For when what? For when they shall say. Who is the they? The they is the nations and unbelievers. You all understand? For when they shall say, read on. Peace and safety. They're going to set up some kind of peace and safety on this earth. Read on. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then sudden destruction come. Read on. As travail upon a woman with child. As travail upon a woman in child with child. Why? Because it's going to increase. It's going to be... Every couple years, then every couple months, then every week, you know, you're going to hear wars and all type of crazy stuff taking place on this earth until it just pop off and his world is the third woe. You understand? That's why it says like a woman That's travail. Right. He said, so Paul's saying, so this is a sign right here. This is for us to tell the signs of the times. Okay, read it again one more time. For when they shall say peace and safety. So that's one thing you got to look for. When there is some form of peace and safety set up on the earth. Read on. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then you're going to see sudden destruction coming upon who? Upon them. Upon who? Upon them. It's not, not the righteous, but upon them. You all understand? You all see how you all got to break down the Bible. You all got to pay attention to words. Okay, read on. As travail upon a woman with child. Read on. And they. And, and what? And they. And they, read on. Shall not escape. And they shall not escape. So this is talking about who? This is the day that shall not ex escape. It's the wicked. The day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night upon who? Upon the wicked. You understand? 
The reason why he's saying the beginning, I shouldn't be writing you to tell you what day Christ going to return because you already know. You understand? Read on. But you already know what to look for. But read on. But ye, brethren. But you, brothers, read on. Are not in darkness. You are not in darkness like this world and the people of this world and the nations and the wicked of our people. Read on. That that day. That that day, the day of the Lord, read on. Should when, overtake you as a thief. It, it, it should not, it will not overtake the righteous as a thief. You all understand? That's right. Why is that? Because they are discerning the signs of the time. And they are getting themselves together. They getting themselves right. They keeping the commandments. They doing what's right. You all understand? They are watching for the returning of their king. Okay, read it again, Ja. Verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. But we are not in darkness. Read on. That that day should overtake you as a thief. So who is going to overtake as a thief? The people that's in darkness. The people that's in the midst of sin. Okay, read on. Ye are all the children of light. We are the children of light. Read on. And the children of the day. And we are the children of the day. The children of righteousness. Read on. We are not of the night. We are not as the night. Read on. Nor of darkness. Read on. Therefore, let us not, sl let us not sleep as do others. So the thing is, is if you are asleep, meaning you're not paying attention to what's going on in this world, then the day of the Lord is going to come upon you as a thief. But if you is awake, if you are awake, and you are discerning the signs of the times, and you understand the time that you are living in, it's high time to awake out of sleep. And you understand that, listen, you've seen the wars, the plagues that's coming on the earth, and you know, okay, the Bible talk about these things. Let me get myself together. Okay, you, the, the day of the Lord is not going to come upon you as a thief. In the night, because you're not of the night, you're of the day. You all understand? Okay. So from there, go to Daniel 12 and 8. Now, God have given wisdom and understanding when it comes to the parable and the dark saints for us to understand what time we are living in. You all understand? The first, the eight, for us to be able to discern the signs of the times, in the Bible, the, the Lord gave us parables and dark sayings that explain signs and times and what's going to take place before he returned for us to understand and what to look for, okay, before his returning. Okay, and I want to show you all that. I want you to go to yeah, Daniel 12 and 8, then let me get Revelation 22 and 7. The book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 8. And I heard, but I understood not. Read on. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? When going to be the end? So Daniel wanted to know the end of these things. Read on. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. So the words is closed up and sealed till the end. Read on. Many shall be purified. Many shall be purified, meaning, meaning made perfect. Many brothers went through things in the time of the Greeks all the way up to Christ. They went through things. They were tried and they were made perfect. Read on. And made white. Uh -huh. And tried. Uh -huh. But the wicked shall do wickedly. But the wicked is them that's in darkness. They going to do wickedly. Read on. And none of the wicked shall understand. And none of the wicked shall understand what's taking place. You all see that? So the wicked in this world, the children of darkness, they're going to see all these things happening. Coronavirus, okay? Wars, rumors of wars. And they're not going to understand what's taking place. But guess who's going to understand and be able to read the signs of the times? Us. That's you all understand? Right. Because we are the children of day and not darkness. Okay? Jump to verse, thir jump to verse um, 13. Verse 13. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the day. So what did the Lord tell Daniel? He's going to rest and he's going to stand in his lot in the end of what? In the, end of the days. In the, 
At the end of the days. In the end of the days, he going to stand in his lot, right? Okay, Ooh. now jump there. Jump to um, Revelation 22. Revelation 22, verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. So Christ says, listen, I come quickly. Read on. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So those of us that keep the sayings of the prophecies of this book, Meaning we keep the commandments and we watching for the returning of our king. Read on. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Uh -huh. Then saith he unto me, see thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophets. Read on. And of them which keep the sayings of this book. We don't. Worship God. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So you all see that? What did the Lord tell John the Revelator? So in Daniel's, it tells Dan, Daniel's was told to what? To seal it, right? And John the Revelator, the Lord tell him what? Not to seal it, right? Meaning the book is not sealed no more. That's Meaning, right. we could understand what the Bible is saying. The righteous could understand. Okay, read on. And, and guess what? Guess what that also is saying? This is saying something heavy there. Remember what he read, what we read in um, Daniel 13, Daniel 12 and 13. It says that Daniel going to come what? And stand in what? What is his luck? A prophet, right? What did the angel just told John the Revelator? I am thy fellow servant, the what? The prophet. You understand? Those are the all that could get it. I ain't going to spell it out for you all. You all point to get it. Okay? Remember what the Lord told Daniel. Thou art what? Greatly beloved, right? What did the Lord told John? Thou art greatly what? Beloved of the Lord, right? <laughs> I ain't going to spell it out for you all. You all point to get it. No. Keep on reading. Verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Read on. He that is unjust. He that is unjust. Let him be unjust still. Let him be wicked. He that is wicked, let him be wicked. Read on. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Read on. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Read on. And he that is holy. Let him be holy still. Read on. And I be behold, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. So Christ said, I'm, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me. That reward is eternal life. Okay? That reward is ruling this earth. Okay? Read on. Right. To give every man according as his work shall be. So every one of us going to get according to our works. Okay? Whatever works we put in in this truth. Remember in, in um, Daniel 12, it says, Some shall shine and others going to shine like the stars of heaven. So it's level state. It says, He that causeth many to repent shall shine like stars of the heavens. <laughs> so it's levels to this. Every man going to be rewarded according to his work. Okay, read on. Verse 13. I am Alpha. Okay, from there, I want you to jump to, let me see. I want, I want Matthew 24 and 36. And then I want Revelation 9 and 14. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. So for that day and that hour know what? Knoweth no man. So nobody know that day nor that hour when Christ going to return. Read on. No, not the angels of heaven. Read on. But my father only. But only God. You understand? That, did he say nobody know the seasons? No. He said nobody know the day, what day it is, or what hour it is. All right? What day, what hour, what year, none of us know. You understand? But we are able to understand the signs of the times, meaning the times that we are living in, we know the time is soon. Okay, but the day or the hour when Christ going to return, nobody know. Not even the angels in heaven. Only the Father know. Not even Christ know. But Christ understand 
the, the, the father show him what's going to happen before he returned. And he showed us these things too for us to know when what's going to happen before he returned. Okay? Read that for me. Revelation 9 and 14. Revelation chapter 9 verse 14. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet. Read on. Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Read on. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour. So they was prepared for an hour. And a day. Remember what Christ says, for the day and the hour no man know. Okay, when is that day and that hour? That day and that hour is when all hell break out on this earth. Okay? It's during the third woe. That's okay? right. Okay? It's during the third woe. Read that part again one more time. Verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day. So they were prepared for one hour, one day. Read on. And a month. And one month. And a year. Out of one year. Read on. For to slay the third part of men. To destroy America. You understand? To destroy a third of men. Billions of people is going to die. And that ain't even talking about, this ain't even talking about when Christ destroyed the rest of them in the war. When they come down in the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is just the armies and them fighting against each other. A third of men going to be destroyed. What you all think? They got them nuclear bombs for show? And them weapons that they creating, they just creating it for show? Okay. At that time, the Geneva Convention ain't going ain't, ain't to say nothing. Ain't got nothing to say. All these nuclear conventions they have and sanctions and all of that ain't going to say nothing. Every nation going to be using them bombs that the Lord had them made. Okay? Read on. You know, from there. So, from there, go to Revelation 7 and 1. So, what is holding back that day? Revelation 7 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 1. Where you read 14 to 16? We didn't read 16 yet. All right, read on. Verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them. Okay, so from there, go to Revelation 7 and 1, and then jump to verse 3. The book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Holding the four winds of the earth. So them four winds of the earth is talking about what? It's talking about destruction. It's the armies of the earth. The armies with nu with nuclear capable, nuclear ballistic missiles. You understand? So what's going on right now is angels holding back them from using them nuclear bombs. You all understand? And them nuclear bombs will be used in that year, in that day. In that month, this is war. <laughs> in that week, I <laughs> understand. In that hour, okay. Remember, the scripture says, "In one hour is that destruction come." That's what America being destroyed. Okay, read on. That the wind should not blow on the earth. That the wind, meaning destruction, blow not on the earth. Read on. Nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Read on. Verse three, saying, "Hurt not the earth." Hurt not the earth. Read on. Neither the sea. Read nor, on. Nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So you'll see what's holding back the third woe. What's holding that back is there must, the servants of God have to be sealed. Which you all see taking place right now. The servants of God is being sealed. Okay, it's not coincidence. You got the bishops and the deacons and the captains and officers all over the earth today teaching this gospel what are they doing they are sealing the servants of god that's okay right. that's what's taking place on the earth right now so there will be no nuclear war until our people have been sealed okay until the israelites wake up and i'm telling you all son we will wake up in the millions and millions and millions that's all over right. the world in the millions and millions You brothers is the leaders of the nation that you brothers that's in here now first. You all are the ones that the Lord called first. Well, those of you all that take this serious and build your spirit up, you going to be the men on the front line leading millions of people. Okay? 
So, I want you to go to Matthew. Where am I? Okay. Go to Revelation 8 and 13. Revelation chapter 8, verse 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the angel flying through the midst of heaven saying what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You understand? That's war, that's World War One, World War Two, World War Three, which is Armageddon. I'd be keep saying that wrong. I'm a get it. I'm a get it. You know what I mean? That's whoa. Read it again one more time. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Whoa, 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 whoa. That's three woes right there. You understand? That's three woes right there. That's talking about World War One, Two, and Three. All right. Now I want you to go to Revelation 14, 11 and 14. The book, of Re the book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past. The second woe is past. Read on. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So the third woe have not happened as yet. The, the third woe is, um, is, is when, the third woe is, is when this, they use them nuclear weapons. Okay? Is in the midst of that third woe, our king is going to return. All right, why am I saying this? To, as I said, we have to be able to discern the signs of the time. Okay? Read it again one more time. The second woe is past. The second woe is past. So this already happened already. The angels and them in the sight of God, the woes, World War I happened by the time Ezra was having, was, um, when Ezra was showing this vision, the Lord already see it happen already. He saw, that's why he saw World War I happen, World War II happen, and World War III. And he gave John the Revelator records of these wars. God, it already happened in the sight of God already. Okay, that's why it's giving you distinctive things that happen during these wars when you keep on reading. Okay, but let me show you all some. Can you play that first video with Trump? Let's see what Trump is saying, what Trump said concerning World War III. Bring it out. <laughs> Yeah, play that for me. Office of country. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after we win the presidency, it's we. I will have the horrible war. That's right. I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine totally settled. I will settle it, and I will pre. I, and I'm the only one that can say this because these other people have no clue. I will prevent World War Three. <laughs> Yo, so Trump said he's going to prevent World War III. Now, let's read that prophecy again. The second woe is past. The second woe is past. Read on. And behold, the third woe cometh the, quickly. The third woe cometh quickly. And it's nothing President Trump, President Biden, nobody on this earth could do to stop that prophecy. The prophecy is that World War III is going to come. You all understand? The prophecy is that World War III is coming. And Trump That's can't right. stop it. Okay? Now check it. Go to Matthew 24. So our king, he left wisdom in this Bible, in dark sayings and so forth, letting us know <clears throat> letting us know when the end is going to come. Letting us know when he's going to return. What we got to look for in order for us to be able to discern the signs of the time. Okay? Go to Matthew 24 and start at verse 3 for me. Matthew chapter 24 verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And when shall be what? The sign of thy coming. So the key thing you all got to look at here is the signs of what? Christ coming. Remember what we read in Matthew 16 and 1. We must be able to discern the signs of what? The times. 
or the signs of when Christ is going to return. So Christ Ooh. left in the Bible things, signs that we got to look for before he returned. Okay? No. Read it again. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And when, what, what shall be the sign of your coming? What going to happen just before you return? When you return on this earth in the last days, what we got to look for? What signs we got to look for? Okay? That's why I said early on, the day of the Lord is not going to come on us as a thief in the night. Why? Because we keep in the commandments and we understand the signs of the times. <laughs> True wisdom. Remember that scripture I read in Wisdom of Solomon where you're going to understand. Wisdom going to understand the times and the signs and so forth. Okay, so wisdom showed that to us. Christ showed that to us. Okay, read on. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Read on. And of the end of the world. And when going to be the end of the world? Okay, what's another term for the end of the world? Armageddon or doomsday. No, I'm going to touch on doomsday a little today. I'm going to go into some doomsday thing right there, boy. No. is in. <laughs> read on. Verse 4, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Christ says, don't let no one deceive you. Read on. For many shall come in my name. So some of the signs before we got to look for before Christ return is that people going to come in his name. Read on. Saying, I am Christ. They're going to call themselves anointed ones. What does the word Christians mean? Anointed ones. You understand? So who have came in Christ's name? And saying that they are Christ. You got the Christ, you got Christianity. You all understand? So that's a sign we got to look for in the last days. Christ is letting us know there will be a false image of him. And a false religion set up on the earth. People calling themselves Christ and Christians. You understand? People calling themselves Jews and Christians. Read that again one more time. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let nobody trick you. Read on. For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name. When it says his name, they're going to come in his name saying that they are the Christ. They are they, they following after Christ. That's Christianity. Read on. Saying, I am Christ. Read on. And shall deceive many. And they deceive billions of people. Billions of people is following after Christianity. So that's one sign we look for. And guess what? It happened already. That sign, that happened already. Okay, that prophecy that Christ gave us, it's fulfilled. Billions of people is following after Christianity. That prophecy have been fulfilled. Okay, so that's one thing we got to look for. That's one sign. Okay, so the white man came and he set up himself as Christ and he have deceived the whole world. He set up himself as him being Christ and the people of Christ and have deceived the whole world. Okay, read on. Verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So this is another sign we got to look for. First sign is Christianity being set up. That happened. And deceive everybody on the earth. That happened. Next sign is that there will be wars and rumors of wars. Okay, we see that's happening right now. Okay, we see that happening right now. No! That's right. <laughs> Yo, let's see what popped off in uh let's see what popped off in 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 uh in Israel yesterday, man. Play that video. Let's see the wars and rumors of wars, yeah. So couple so so check it. Last week the Israeli government bombed, they committed a terrorist attack and they bombed uh, um, an embassy in Syria, okay, and that embassy belongs to Iran, okay, now, Iran, you can't be bombing people embassies, because it's like you proclaiming war on that country, you all understand what I'm saying, so now, the Iranians say, yo, we going we gonna to take vengeance on you all, so yesterday, Iran started shooting missiles at Israel and so forth, you know. 
I'm watching all of that and I'm thinking like, okay, this is all a show. You understand me? This is what I'm saying. That I said the the Carmanians ain't fully they they ain't fully enraged as yet. The reason why I say that they call America to let America know they're about to send missiles to to Israel. Who the hell does that? You know, I'm like, yeah, what the hell is this? I thought things was popping off yesterday. Then I'm watching. I'm like, okay, but let's see what took place. Keep keep um play them vigils I sent you. There shall be wars and rumors of wars. Wars and rumors of wars. These are the signs you got to look for. Isn't there, isn't Russia and Ukraine warring with each other? Isn't there, um, how to say, isn't, doesn't, isn't, isn't there a rumor that China going to go to war with Taiwan? There's many wars taking place on the earth. And there's rumors of wars taking place too. So Christ said, these are the signs you got to look for before I return. Okay? These are the signs of my coming. Okay? First thing they're going to do, they're going to set up a false religion. Second thing, you're going to see wars and rumors of wars taking place. Okay? Keep on playing. What else, what else you got? Keep on playing. Yeah, man. Play the vigils and them ascend. Yeah. So Iran letting go missile in Israel. John knows. <laughs> Things getting nice on the earth, brethren. Yes. Let me see what that video you get. Yeah, man. Now, as they doing that, you know that barricading the land of Israel that separate, that separate the Palestinians from the Israeli. This is what was taking place yesterday as Iran start dropping bomb on the on the Israelis. This is what Ishmael was doing. Keep play that for me. <laughs> they start pushing down the barrier. That wall that separates the Palestinians, they start tearing it down. They're tearing it down. <laughs> Things is getting sweet. That's right. The scripture said we're going to laugh in destruction. Okay, keep on playing, you know. And all of this is happening because brothers is teaching the word of God. Right. I'm telling you, if you are one, I could bring that scripture out too. Okay, yeah, um, let me see what a video you got there. Yeah, here's some more. Ya Allah. So Iran let go missiles, bust off some shots. Hey, whistling, whistling. Some ballistic missiles and drone. Iran shoot them at, at the Israelis. You yeah, know. You see, you hear the Arabs and them. <laughs> Allah Akbar! They're happy. They're like, yo! I'm telling you, I'm going to show you all some things. What a video I get here with that one. What that? What a video you got there. That's a drone attack? All right. So they let go drones, drones too. They so, yo, things heating up, man. He, things heating up. Things heating up, brothers. So what? All right. So that's it on them videos. All right. So things is heating up right now. Okay. Things is heating up, brethren and sisters. You know. So yo, where was that? Read on. Keep go back to Matthew twenty-four and read it again. Matthew twenty-four, verse six. And ye shall hear of wars. And we're gonna hear of wars. Okay. Now let me tell you something. If you blow up somebody's embassy, that's a declaration of war. This is war. Okay. 
Now, the Iranis and them, they don't really want to go all the way. They waiting. They saving. Okay, but they just have to show a little a little show of power. So they shoot some missiles at Israel. And, and they let America know, listen, we just shoot some missiles, you know. That's just to show a, a little show a, um safe face. That's how I see it. That wasn't really. It ain't really pop off as yet, man. Okay, read that again. And you shall hear of wars. And you're going to hear of wars. Read on. And rumors of wars. And you're going to hear of rumors of wars. These are the signs of the things you got to look for before Christ return. Read on. See that ye be not troubled. That's why I be laughing. I'm not troubled. I'm not troubled. Brothers and sisters, don't be troubled when you see these things taking place. Iran shoot some ballistic missiles at Israel. Israel bombing Palestine. Okay, Russia bombing Ukraine. When you see these things, brothers and sisters, don't be troubled. Okay, why? Because it's God doing his thing on this earth. It's plagues God sending on this earth. Remember, I tell you all the same plagues that God sent on Egypt. He's sending plagues on this earth. When you read 2nd Ezra 15. Okay, it's That's plagues right. God sending on this earth. Read on. For all these things must come to pass. Christ says all these things got to come to come to pass what? First. They must come to pass. The plagues got to come to pass. God got to plague all these nations with wars and famine. Read on. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. Now everybody talking about World War Three about to take place. I'm just watching at everybody and laughing. I like you cannot discern the signs right. of the times. Right. You cannot discern. You don't know the Bible. You got people running around talking about World War Three about to take place. No, it's not. It's not about to take place as yet. Okay, that's why I say give it twenty years. Why I said twenty years might be twenty years or even less. Because I'm discerning the signs of the times. That's right. No. This is when... The, so read it again one more time. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. Read on. See that ye be not troubled. Read on. For all these things must come to pass. Read on. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet, brothers and sisters. The Russia-Ukraine war, all of that stuff you see taking place. The end is not as yet. Read on. For nation shall rise against nation. Read on. And kingdom against kingdom. Read on. And there shall be famines. So there are going to be famines on this earth. Famines. Okay. Read on. And pestilences. Diseases. You also saw what took place with the coronavirus. Remember what, what Christ is letting his apostles know? The signs that they got to look for before he returned. Okay. Read on. And earthquakes. And yo, wasn't there an earthquake in New York last week? Yes, so these are the signs we got to look for. There are going to be earthquake, famine, diseases, pestilence, wars, rumors of wars. Yo, the coronavirus shut down the earth for what? For two years, man. <laughs> okay, read on. And earthquakes in diverse places. You got, now we have an earthquakes in New York City. Read on. All these things are the beginning. So everything you all see taking place is the what? The beginning. So God says, listen, when you see these signs, it's just the beginning. That's right. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Meaning it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. That's why I say I give them like 20 years, man. I give them like 20 years. In the next couple years we're going we're going to tell how even closer we getting as i tell you it could kick off anytime it might be five years i don't know all right but the way we're going to be able to tell is by on by reading the signs of the times what our king left for us to look for okay read on all these things are the beginning of sorrow so it's just the beginning of sorrows just the beginning of sorrows on this earth brothers and sisters read on then Shall they deliver you up to be afflicted? So what's the key thing that we got to look for? They got to what? They got to deliver us up to be afflicted. Is that happening as yet? So when you hear people talking about World War Three and all of that stuff, I'm like, yo, Israel ain't wake up as yet. The dragon ain't rot as yet. They not afflicting us. The great insurrection, Jacob trouble ain't taking place as yet. It's just the beginning stage, but it's not theirs yet. Okay? 
Read it again one more time. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So when you see wars and rumors of wars and earthquake taking place, it says then. So you'll see, what we, you'll see what's coming soon. You'll see what's coming soon. So what's going to happen next is what? We're seeing the earthquakes. We're seeing the wars and the rumors of wars. What's going what's to happen next, brothers? They coming for us. That's right. You understand? The U.S. government, the FBI, Canary Mission, SPLC, they going to come for us. The ADL, Mossad, they all going to come for us physically. You understand? They going to put some of us in prison and some of us they going to kill assassinate okay read it again one more time then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted so you see the stages christ put it in stages the earthquakes the wars rumors of wars then the famine then they're going to deliver you up to be afflicted okay read on it shall kill you and they're going to kill some of us so when you see they start putting hands on us and you see our people raising up and the people that those of our people that following after Christ and keeping the commandments and know we Israel. When you see brothers start dying for this truth, guess what? That's a sign that what? He's about to return. That's a sign that that's a sign that, that it might be the next year or two or three. You all understand? Okay, read it again. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Read on. And shall kill you. And they going to kill us. They going to kill some of us. Now go to Revelation tw um, 6 and 10 and read that for me. I'm showing you all. That's why we've been going over these classes about what happened to you when you die and so forth. I'm showing you all that we don't really die. You understand why? Because the Lord is building us up to prepare us for what's coming. Okay? It's war coming against us. Okay, and they're gonna come. They're gonna put us in prison. They're going. It's go, it's going only be to try us, to see if you really believe what you have, what you were being taught for all of these years. Some of you all will endure. Some of you are going to turn traitors. Some of you are going go not endure. You are going to take off your fringes off of your clothes and you are going to go back into the world. But what's gonna take place in the future when they deliver some of us up to be killed is is going to be to try us okay read on the book of revelations chapter 6 and verse 10 and they cried with a loud voice saying how long O lord holy and true dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth read on and white robes were given unto every one of them and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So you see what holding back Christ from returning? There's a certain amount of brothers and sisters that got to die. You understand? Right. There's a certain number of brothers and sisters that got to die. Okay? That, that got to be fulfilled. Okay? That got to be fulfilled. So when... We read there shall be wars and rumors of wars, and then they gonna deliver you up to be afflicted. The, that that ain't took place as yet. So when I see these things happening, you know, everybody running around talking about World War Three. No, I be laughing because I like that. I, I understand the signs of the time. We understand the signs of the time. Right. So we be laughing when I hear Iran pop off with um with Israel. I said no. Nah. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna get crazy crazy as yet no it's not i'm a gideon is not about to take place christ ain't coming back next week you understand because what gotta happen first we gotta be tried we gotta be sealed millions of israel gotta wake up and that could happen within within a couple years within two three four five years i'm telling you all you all and see where all them brothers is right now for the passover brothers is all over the world waking up the saints Waking up the saints of God, sealing them. Okay, bishops and deacons and officers and captains, they're all over the world right now. Whether it's India, Japan, wherever. 
We all over! Okay. So, yo, check it, man. So, where was that? Okay, so let's jump back to Revelation. 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 11 and 14, then read 11, then read 16 and 13. Let me speed it up. Let Revelation. Speed it up. Yeah, read. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past. Read on. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The third woe cometh quickly. Read on. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven. Okay, from there, go to Revelation 16 and 13. So the, the, the second woe is past. The third woe cometh quickly. The third woe is World War Three. You understand? That's the third woe. It's Armageddon. You understand? Read on. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 13. Now let me get Jeremiah 50 and 51 and 7 too. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. So the clean, unclean spirit uh, like a frog is what? Keep on reading. And out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So read on. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth. Read and, on. And of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. So that great day of God Almighty is the third woe. You all understand? It's the third woe. Read it again one more time. For they are the spirits of devils. No, read it down at verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon. So the mouth of the dragon that goes into their politics. Okay? That unclean spirit that comes out of the mouth of the dragon, that's their politics. The politics and policies that America have the, and, and the land of Israel have there in the Middle East and with the, all the nations. Okay, it's going into the sanctions that America is putting on these nations when they don't agree with their policies. It's going into the, the, the Belfour Declaration that was signed to put those people in the land of Israel. Okay, all these things is, is causing problems over there in the East. That's preparing the kings of the earth to do what? To rise up and fight against the Israelis and America. I want you all to see that. That's what this is saying. So read it again. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon. Politics. And out of the mouth of the beast. That's their economics. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. The false prophets is Judaism and Christianity. That's, That's the right. false prophets. The false prophets is Christianity and Judaism. Christ was not a black man. Right. The Jews is not white people. Christ was not a white man. Okay? Christ was not an Edomite. And the Jews were not white. Okay? Christ was a man of color. Okay, read on. For they are the spirits of devils. For they are the spirits of devils. Read on. Working miracles. Read on. Which go forth unto the kings of the earth. So these things is going forth to the kings of the earth. Saudi Arabia, Iran. Okay, um, Iraq, okay, China, all the kings of the earth, these, on, these policies that America got set up and their religions, okay, and their economics and so forth is getting the nations and them angry. Okay, read on. Which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. The great day day of God of Almighty is the day of doom. I'm going to touch on it early. I'm going to touch on it a little later on. So how are they doing? How are, how, are their, how are their policies and their religions and all of that preparing that war? I'm going to give you all an example. The Israeli government been bombing the Palestinian people for months. And America support it. America is giving them Bombs to bomb the Israeli, I mean to bomb the Palestinians. Now, thousands of kids, babies, and women is dying. The whole city, the whole of Palestine, the buildings is, is broken down. It's genocide taking place. And guess who is supporting it? 
America and Europe. You all understand? So these things is getting the Arab countries and other people in the world angry. They are, they are saying, why America is supporting genocide? Why the Israeli government is doing these things? You, I hope you all see that. So when it says these unclean spirits is preparing the kings of the earth for war, guess what? Everybody that was bummed, all these kids and mothers and fathers that's in Palestine, they all going to become soldiers. That's right. They all going to become soldiers to fight in that third war. I'm telling you, that's what you see taking place. Okay, read that again. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon. Read on. And out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. Read on. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day. To gather them together for the battle of that great day. That great day is the day of doom. Read on. Of God Almighty. Of God Almighty, the Armageddon. Read on. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. So those of us that watch in Christ is not going to come unto us as a thief. Okay? So uh, read that for me, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the, Lord, in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. So the nations drunk of the wine of Babylon. Read on. Therefore, the nations are mad. So that's why the nations is mad. The nations is angry with America, with Babylon the Great. Why? Because they all took what's in her cup? Abomination. Mm -hmm. You know, the abomination, the cups go, the cup, her cup is going into her foreign policies. Okay, it's going to going into her religions, it's going into her politics her economics you understand all these things is why it's getting the nations and them angry okay read that part again one more time the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad the nations are mad they are angry with america read on babylon is suddenly fallen then they going to destroy this place now go to ezekiel ezekiel 35 and 7 to 10 The book of Ezekiel, chapter No, 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 not, not there. First, I want to go to Isaiah 14 and 5. You know, I'm going to skip that. Go to Ezra. Ezra 15 and 28. So what you all see going on in the Middle East right now, I'm going to show you a Bible prophecy. Okay, we touch on it many times concerning the Iranis and concerning Ishmael, the so-called Arabs. Okay. Read that for me. Second Ezra 15, verse 28. Behold, an horrible vision. Yo, yo, yo. Um, yo, listen, man. I need some. Yo, put my arm um, song track on, man. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up, man. Let me turn it up. Read. Behold, an horrible vision. A horrible vision. Read on. And the appearance thereof from the east. And the appearance from the east. You all remember we read early on that the unclean spirit is to prepare the kings of the east, right? Read on. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia. The dragons of Arabia is the so-called Arabs. Okay? Read on. Shall come out with many chariots. And they're going to come out with many chariots. Read on. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind That's, upon the earth. That wind is that same wind we read where? Revelation 7. Read on. That all they which hear them may fear and that tremble. That all they that hear them go fear and tremble. This is what? This is when all the Arabs unite together. Guess what? That's not what's taking place right now. Okay? Read on. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath. The, the what? The Carmanians raging in wrath. So who is the Carmanians? The Carmanians is Iran. That's the Iran right. gonna be Iranis gonna be raging in wrath. Why? Because Israel and America, what they are doing to them. America just killed one of their generals under the Trump administration. Right. Israel just killed two of their generals. Okay, 
on on um in, in by blowing up their embassy. Okay, read on. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath. So the Carmanians, the Iranians, they gonna be raging in wrath with the dragons of Arabia. Read on. Shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Read on. And with great power. Ah, uh, with great power, what are they gonna do? And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. I'll join battle. So the Iranians gonna join battle with all with Ishmael. This is all Arabs going to be coming together. What we reading about? We reading about Armageddon. We reading about the beginning of war, of the third war. Okay, read on. And with great power shall they come. Read on. And join battle with them. And read on. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And they going to waste a portion of Israel. They going to destroy a portion of the land of Israel. It says Assyria, why? Because it's straight, the Assyrians were strangers that was once dwelling in the land of Israel. Okay, so today, who is dwelling in there? The same str strangers, Edomites, Amalek. Okay, read on. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand. So when it says, and then the dragons shall have the upper hands. The dragons is who? The dragons of what? Arabia, right? When it says they shall have the upper hand, what does that mean? I want you to go to... Zechariah, Zechariah 14 and what? And one, read that for me. The but it says that then, that then they shall have the upper hand. Read that for me. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 1. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoils shall be divided in the midst of thee. That's them dividing the land between the Palestinians and the people that call themselves Jews. Read on. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. So all nations going to be gathered against Jerusalem in the future to battle. Okay? This is future prophecy. This is what's going to take place. Okay? What the Israeli government is doing is going to issue in the third woe. Read on. This is war. And the city shall be taken. And what? And the city shall be taken. What is the prophecy? What does God say is going to happen to the Israelis in that land? And the city shall be taken. The Israelis is going to lose Jerusalem. Right. The city going to be taken. The Arabs going to get the upper hand. You all understand? Yes, sir. The Arabs going to get the upper hand. Read on. And the house is rifled. And the house is rifle, read on. And the women ravish. And the woman gonna be ravished over there. They're gonna be raped by them Arabs. Read on. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity. Prisoners of war. Half of the Jewish people that are living over there are gonna go. They're gonna hold them captives. It ain't gonna be no 200 hostages like last time. They taking half of the city. You understand? Hundreds of thousands of people going in, they taking captives, the Arabs. Okay, what, we, what are we talking about? We are talking about the issue in the third world. Okay, you see what the Israeli government and, the, and America is doing? That is making the Arabs and the nations angry. And the Arabs is going to unite and they will fight against the land of Israel. Okay, and they're going to unite with the who? With the Carmanians, which is which is Iran. Read on. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Read on. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. Then shall Christ return. You all understand? And he's going to fight against all of them nations down there in the Middle East. Now go right there in the land of Israel. Read, now jump back to where you was at. 2nd Ezra 15 verse 31. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand. So you all understand when it said the dragons going to have the upper hand, what that mean? It means that they will take back the land of Israel. The That's Arabs right. is going to take back that land for a time. That's the Bible prophecy. Okay, read on. Remembering their nature. Remembering their nature. Their nature is to be wild men. That's what God created them for. God created Ishmael to issue in the third woe. You understand? Read on. And if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power. In great power, read on. To persecute them. To persecute the them is who the them is who they're gonna be persecuting. The Israelis. You understand? Amalek. Read on. Then these shall be troubled 
and keep silence through their power you and shall flee and shall flee the Israelis is gonna flee you all understand yes sir okay that's what's gonna issue in World War three okay that's a Bible prophecy right there that ain't thus said me Malachi that's thus says the Lord that's right. now go to Obadiah 1 Obadiah 1 Obadiah. and start at verse 1 the book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 1 the vision of Obadiah thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom concerning who Edom concerning Edom the so-called white man read on we have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen an ambassador is somebody's going to rise up from amongst the so-called Arab an Arab leader one of them Ishmaelites leader one of them Arab somebody going to rise up amongst the Arab leaders and he's going to gather all Arab nations together I hope you all that's the future that's what's going to happen that's, right. that's what's going to start world the third world okay read it again the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God, concerning Edom. Concerning Edom. The Edom here is Edom in America and Edom in Israel. Read on. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Somebody is sent amongst the Arabs and says what? Read on. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Let's rise up against Israel and America in battle. That's right. Read on. Behold. I have made thee small among the heathen. So, the I have made thee small amongst the heathen. Read on. Thou art greatly despised. Now, this is talking about America and Israel. That's what I'm showing you. On. Because they are one. When it says, I have made thee small amongst the heathen, it's talking about the land of Israel. Okay, the land of Israel is small amongst the heathen. When you look at the land of Israel, look who surround the land of Israel. You got Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Egypt all of these lands all of that's arabs that surround the land of israel so god says i have made thee small amongst the heathen thou art what thou art greatly despised all them arabs is gonna hate the israelis you understand they're gonna hate the israelis okay they aren't america okay read on the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee okay Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. From there, I want you to jump to verse 5. Verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? The Bible says, if thieves come to if thieves come, if robbers by night, why is the Israelis going to be cut off? Why is America cut off? Okay, what does that mean if thieves come to thee and robbers by night? Okay? Let me get that, the rubbers of, uh, yeah, let me get that. What that is? How art thou cut off? Read on. How art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? So I'm going to give you all what this means, what this is going into. Yes, it's talking about him stealing our identity and all of that. But let me show you all something. Read that for me. It's Daniel what? 11 and what? 9? No, 14. Daniel chapter 11, verse 14. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Read on. Also, the robbers of thy people. The robbers of our people is the so-called white man. They have the Jewish, the Jewish people, okay? America, they are the robbers of our people. They stole. What did they rob? What did they steal? Not just our identity, but let me show you all some. I want you to go to... I want you to go to Isaac, no, go to Ezekiel 35 and 7 and hold up Obadiah. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 7. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Among Seir, going to be desolate, meaning they're going to be destroyed. Read on. And cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Read on. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. There are going to be a lot of dead people here in Babylon. Read on. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Read on. I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy cities shall not return. Read on. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Read on. Because thou hast said these two nations this is the this is what the rubbers rubbers by night and he said how are thou cut off 
If robbers come by night, wouldn't they steal until they have enough? Let's see what they stole. Read it again. Because thou hast said, these two nations. These two nations. Read on. And these two countries. These two countries. The two countries is Israel, the land of Israel, and America. You all understand? Read on. Shall be mine. That's what they did. They said the land of Israel going to be theirs and America going to be theirs. Okay? And they robbed and they stole it. But let me show you all something. Go back to Obadiah and read it again. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night. Read on. How would thou cut off? How is Esau cut off? Read on. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? They is let me show you all something this is what's going to start the third woe esau did not steal until he had enough okay the land was divided between him and the palestinians right guess what esau said i want the whole land i don't just want the part you gave me and ever since 1949 till today the Israelis been taking more and more and more. They ain't got enough. They, they ain't got enough. And that's what's going to start the third woe. Y'all understand? That's what's going to start the third woe. Okay? The other Arabs and them, they see what the Israeli government is doing to the Palestinians. And guess what? They are getting angry. They are getting mad. Okay? The land of Israel is small amongst the heathen. They are greatly despised by the uh, by the Arab nations. Okay. <coughs> no, where we at? Obadiah one and five. Read that again. If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? How art thou cut off? You know what? Would they have not stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? We you know what? How were the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? So Esau haven't stole till he have. He won the whole land of Israel. That's what's gonna make the ambassadors rise um, rise up and say, "Let us rise against him in battle," because he won the whole land of Israel. He don't wanna. He don't wanna share it with with the Palestinians. Okay. <laughs> now from there, go to Zephaniah. No, go to Isaiah 14. And 24. You know, now I'm going to skip that. Go to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So God's command us to gather together. Read on. Before the decree bring forth. Before doom, the day of doom take place. Read on. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before, read on. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord come, the next Passover. Read on. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Read on. Seek ye the Lord. All ye meek of the earth. The meek of the earth is us, the Israelites. Read on. Which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Read on. For Gaza shall be forsaken. So the Bible says Gaza going to be destroyed. Okay? Gaza going to be destroyed. That's Bible prophecy. Read on. And Ashkelon a desolation. Ashkelon, put the image up if you all got it. Ashkelon going to be destroyed also. That's Bible prophecy. Read on. They shall drive out Ashdod. They going to drive out what? Ashdod. All of these lands is in the land of Israel today. When is this going to take place? When the when that war, the third war pop off. That's okay, right. Gaza going to be destroyed. Ashkelon going to be destroyed. Ashdod going to be destroyed. Read on. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday. At noonday. Ash, they going to drive out Ashdod. No, so check it. So all of these places going to be destroyed. Okay. I got more on that. That's the seven. And Ekron shall be rooted up. Ekron going to be rooted up. Read on. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast. Read on. The nations of the Cherethites. Read on. The word of the Lord is against you. Read on. O Canaan. O Canaan. Let's see who it's talking about. Read on. The land of the Philistines. The Palestinians. 
God say I'm against you. Read on. I will even destroy thee. So God said, I'm going to even destroy the Palestinians. Okay? Because they don't supposed to be in that land neither. Okay, read on. That there shall be no inhabitants. There shall be no inhabitants left there. Okay, read on. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottage for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. For the remnant of who? Of the house of Judah. So that's a future prophecy. That's a future prophecy when the Lord brings us back in the land. He said, I'm going to kill all them Palestinians. I'm, all these cities, they're going to be destroyed in that war, in that third war. Read on. They shall feed thereupon. Read on. In the houses of Escalon shall they lie down in the evening. So we're going to lie, the house of Escalon, we're going to lie down in the evening. Read on. For the Lord their God. Read on. Shall visit them. Shall visit us. Our Lord, our God, our King, he's going to visit us. Read on. And turn away their captivity. And he's going to turn away our captivity. You all understand? This is the new Passover I'm talking about. The most I going to deliver us from these lands that we have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right. Read on. That's it. That's it. All right. From there, I want you to go to. I want you to go to Second Ezra seven and forty-two and forty-three. The Book of Second Ezra, chapter seven and verse forty-two. He answered me and said, "This present life is not the end." Where much glory doth abide. So what this life we're living in is not the end where much glory shall abide. Okay, read on. Therefore have they prayed for the week, but the day of doom. But the day of what? The day of doom. But the day of what? The day of doom. But the day of doom. The day of doom is the day of the Lord. When Christ returns and everybody done. The day of doom, doom mean the day of judgment. Okay, the day of judgment. Read it again, but the day of what? But the day of doom. But the day of doom, read on. Shall be the end of this time. That's going to be the end of this time that you are living in right now. You all understand? That's going to be the end of this time that we are living in. The end of this time where the white man and the Chinese and the nations ruling over us. The day of doom. That's what? World War Three. That's when, that's the third woe. That's Armageddon. That's when they use them nuclear bombs. It's the day of doom. Okay? Read it again one more time. But the day of doom. The day of doom. Doomsday. Read on. Shall be the end of this time. Going to be the end of this time. Read on. And the beginning of the immortality for to come and the beginning of the immortality that is to come that's us being reborn and ruling this earth in righteousness read on right. wherein corruption is past so there is no more corruption read on no more wickedness no more lesbians and homos and adulterers walking around that's no right. more lies Read on. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Unfaithfulness is cut off. Read on. Righteousness is grown. So righteousness is grown on the earth. Read on. And truth is sprung up. And truth is being taught on this earth. No more lies. Okay, read on. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed so those that of our people that are going to be destroyed nobody could save them you can pray for them you can know some of you will be like can you pray for my moms can you pray for my dad so they could repent read it again then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed that is destroyed in the day of doom read on nor to oppress him that has gotten the victory and nobody gonna oppress those of us that got the victory that's right. That was delivered. Okay? From there. Go to 2nd Ezra 5 and 1. 2nd Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. That's the day of doom. The day coming when 
those that dwell upon the earth gonna be taken by a great number billions of people gonna die okay read on in the way of truth shall be hidden and the way of truth shall be hidden why because they are hiding the truth that we are the children of israel the truth that this what this bible is talking about is hidden they have set up false religion on this earth That's right. and they set up the they set up fake people calling them calling them the people of god okay so the truth is hidden read on and the land shall be barren of faith and there will be no faith on in the land read on but iniquity shall be increased above that which which now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago and that's what you all see taking place right now iniquity have increased increased more than you have ever seen on this earth okay read on and the land that thou seest now to have roots that land that he see to have root is what the land of what huh the land of israel so he said the land that you see now to have root meaning the land of israel read on shall thou see wasted shall thou see what wasted go that's, that's what right. we read early on in zephaniah okay read on shall thou see wasted read suddenly. on you're gonna see the land of israel wasted suddenly what's gonna happen read on but if the most i grant thee to live but if you come back at that time and you live it in that time read on thou shalt see after the third trumpet after the third trumpet this is how the land gonna be wasted read on that the sun the sh sun shall what shall suddenly shine again in the night so the sun gonna shine in the night what that's talking about what is that talking about the sun shall shine in the night read on and the moon thrice in the day what that's going into that's going into bombs nuclear bombs going off that's what is going into nuclear bombs going off that's right and you see like every time a bomb go off you're going to see like it look like the sun shine do you understand that's one two bombs you understand what i'm saying read it again one more time but if the most high grant thee to live thou shalt see after the third trumpet read on that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night the sun gonna shine again in the night that's okay right. that's them nuclear bombs going on that goes back to the ekron shall be destroyed at noonday that's when them bombs going off okay nuclear bombs start being used on this earth okay now jump back to uh jump back to go to the which says when you hear the third trump right yes, go to revelation 8 and 10 and 11. the book of revelation chapter 8 and verse 10. Read, read on and the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven read on burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the river so that great star that was burning as a lamp is what it's a nuclear bomb. That's right. It's a nuclear bomb. That star that's falling from heaven is a nuclear bomb. Read it again. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven. Read on. Burning as it were a lamp. Remember, we read in Second Ezra, it says, if you live to see the third trump, you're gonna see the sun shine suddenly in the night that's can sun shine in the night no so it's talking about when that bomb dropped that star nuclear bombs is also called stars okay read it again one more time and a third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers read on and upon the fountains of waters read on and the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Read on. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, meaning bitter, poisonous. It became poisonous. It's a nuclear fallout. Now, to show you all, that's what it's talking about. I send you all an image there. Can you put that image up that I sent? What is, what is, um... Wormwood. It's a picture. A screenshot. The sixth one. Yeah. So read that for me. In the Ukrainian language, Chernobyl means mug root 
or wild wormwood. So you all see what that wormwood is talking about. What took place? Why they call Chernobyl that? Because there was a nuclear accident over there. And the That's whole right. land over there is radiate is radiation over there. Right. You all understand? So when you talk about wormwood, it's talking about nuclear destruction. That's right. Okay. Now jump back. Jump back and read that again. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 11. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Read on. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. Read on. And many men died of the waters. And many people died. Why? Because they were made bitter. They were poisonous. Radiation. Read on. And the fourth angel sounded. All right, from there, I want you to jump back to 2nd Ezra 5. 2nd Ezra chapter 5, verse 4. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night. So you all understand what they're talking about, the sun shining again in the night. At the third trump. That's that star. That bomb, that nuclear bomb going off. And destroying, wasting the land of Israel that you see that, that, he, that he mentioned in the verses above. Read on. And the moon thrice in the day. And the moon thrice in the day. That's bomb going off in three different, three times for the day. Read on. And blood shall drop out of wood. And the stone shall give his voice. And what? And the stone shall give his voice. What's the stone that shall give his voice? That's Christ. That's you understand? Christ going to sound off his voice because guess what? While that taking place, it's going to be the new Passover. Our king is about to return. That's right. Okay, read on. And the people shall be troubled. And the people shall be troubled. Read on. And even he shall rule. And even what? And even he shall rule. And even he shall rule. Listen clearly. Read on. Whom they, whom they, the white man and the nations, look not for. They look not for. Put the image up of, the, of Christ. They not looking. They not looking for a black man to rule this earth. They not looking for a black man to rule this earth. But what does the Bible says? Read it again. And even he shall rule. He, and even he shall rule. Read on. Whom they look not for. Because they think we talking crap when we say Christ is a black man. And Christ coming back and judge this earth. And Christ coming back and rule. They said these Negroes is crazy. You understand? So read it again. And even he shall rule. And even he shall rule. Read on. Whom they look not for. Nobody looking for a black man to come and rule this earth. Okay, read on. That dwell upon the earth. Read on. And the fowls shall take their flight away together. Read on. And the sodomite is sea. And the sodomite is sea is America. You understand? The sodomite is sea. Remember, scripture says America is spiritually called what? Sodom. Okay, That's so the right. Sodomitis sea shall what? Shall cast out fish. That's when nuclear bombs drop over here. Because right war. after Israel is destroyed, America going to be destroyed too. And the fishes over here going to be, they going to die. They're going to be naval warfare taking, taking place even over here on the shores of America. Because when you read the scripture, it says the nation's going to besiege her on right. every side. Right. Okay, read on. And the sodomite of sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. And make a noise in the night. That noise is, boom, the destruction of America. America being destroyed. Read on. Which many have not known. Read on. But they shall all hear the voice thereof. And they, But they shall all hear that voice thereof when Christ returns. Read on. There shall be a confusion also in many places. So from there, I want you to jump jump back to Zephaniah 2. Zephaniah and one. chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So the Lord commands us to gather ourselves together read on before the decree bring before forth. doomsday before christ return we must gather together read on before the day pass as the chaff the day pass after chaff that's nuclear destruction before the day of doom take place christ command us to gather ourselves together okay and that's what we are doing right now 
Okay, before that destruction take place, guess what got to happen? We got to teach. We got to wake Israel up all over the world. We got to go teach this word. And our people will wake up. Okay, now. Go to Revelation 11, 11. Then go to Revelation 12 and 17. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 11. So as we gather together, this is what God says is going to happen. Read. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Read on. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Us God getting us standing up on, on our feet is us gathering together. That's right. Okay? Us standing upon our feet is us gathering together. We in this and in building. us gather together in the millions, it says great fear going to come upon them that see us. Now, when that fear come upon them, what's going to happen? All of these things are signs that got to take place before Christ returns. Jump to Revelation 12 and 17. Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So they're going to make war with those of us that stand upon our feast feet and gather together who gonna do this the white man the dragon okay america and the land of israel they gonna make war with us okay read on, on all right from there go to revelation 11 and 12 the book of revelation chapter 11 and verse 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven so what is this talking about this is talking about the new Passover. That's right. When that destruction taking place, we going to hear a voice from heaven saying what? Read it again. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Are we going to ascend up in heaven in a cloud? That's deliverance, brothers. Okay, that's deliverance, sisters. But before that happen, what got to take place? They got to make war with us. As we gather together as the nation of Israel, they go make war with us. Now go to, go to Psalms 91 and 5. Psalms chapter 91 and verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flight by day. Read on. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Read on. Nor for the destruction. But nor for the what? The destruction. Nor for the destruction. Read on. That wasted at noonday. That wasted That's at noonday. Right. What is that talking about? That talking about that when them nuclear bombs drop. Okay, read on. A thousand shall fall at thy side. You, a thousand people going to fall on one side of you. Read on. And ten thousand at thy right hand. And ten thousand at your right hand. Read on. But it shall not come nigh thee. This is the new Passover, brothers and sisters. That's the new deliverance. When when them bombs drop, when, them, when that third woe pop off, when that one day, that year, that hour... <laughs> you understand when that take place when the day of doom taking place the lord said i'm going to deliver you okay go back to revelation 11 and read that again revelation chapter 11 and verse 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud read on and their enemies beheld them and our enemies going to see us ascending up read on at the same hour and at that same hour remember what we read no man know at the time or the hour and at that same hour read on was there a great earthquake there was war popping off bombs dropping read on and the tenth part of the city fell and america babylon is destroyed you all understand now what's going on here go to zechariah Go to Zechariah 13 and 9. Let me show you what's taking place. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. What's happening here when it says he shall bring the, the third part shall go through the fire. It's going into, as them bombs going off, 
we gonna be delivered through that fire we gonna be changed the lord says he will bring the third part through the fire read on and will refine them as yeah. silver is refined read on and will try them as gold is tried read on they shall call on my name read on and i will hear them and the lord will hear us we gonna call on the name of the lord and he will hear us read on i will say it is my people they are my people read on and they shall say the lord is my god from there go to isaiah 31 and 5 Isaiah 31 verse 5. I'm almost done. Read on. As birds flying. As birds flying. Read on. So will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. So shall the Lord defend his people. Jerusalem is a people before a place first and foremost. Read on. Defending also. He will deliver it. And passing over. And what? Passing over. And what? Passing over. So what I'm reading about here is the new Passover. Okay, so and passing over when Christ returned and he passed over Babylon. Okay, he passed over this Egypt. He gonna do what? And passing over. He will preserve it. He will preserve us. He will de deliver us. Okay, from there. Go to Jeremiah 16 and 15. Jeremiah 16 verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. No, read it from the verse above. Verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said. It shall no more be said. Read on. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. It not going to no more be said. God lived that brought us up out of ancient Egypt. But what's going to be said? Read on. But the Lord liveth. But the Lord liveth. Read on. That brought up the children of Israel. Read on. From the land of the north. From America. That's the new Passover. That's what we're going to be celebrating when Christ returns. The Lord liveth that brought us up from America. That's the land of the north. From the what? From the land of the north. From the land of the north, which is North America. Read on. And from all the lands where he had driven them. And from all the lands where he drive us. Where he driven us. Okay. Matthew 24 and 31. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Read on. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other so you'll see this is why i'm reading is the new passover okay this is the new passover that's going to take place now from there go to second Ezra 15 and 7. second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 7. therefore saith the lord i will hold my tongue no more so god says he will hold his tongue no more read on as touching wickedness as touching the wickedness of america read on which they profanely commit which they profanely commit read on neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves read on behold the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me that's what that goes back to revelation what six and ten okay why because what gotta happen first before christ return some of us gotta die that's right so the blood of those of us that's going gonna be shed here in babylon is gonna be crying out to the lord read on and the souls of the just and the souls of the just com read, complain continually that's second Ezra six and ten that we read early on read on and therefore said the lord read on i will surely avenge them so what god says he gonna do i will surely avenge them god will avenge us brothers and sisters read on and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them read on behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter read on i will not suffer them now i will not suffer them now to what to dwell in the land of egypt to dwell where in the land of egypt that's america brothers that's the land of the north that's that egypt is deuteronomy 28 and 68 and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again that egypt is revelation 11 and 8 
and their body shall dwell in the in that great city which is called Sodom and Egypt. Right. That's the Egypt. That's okay, right. read it again one more time. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. That's America, the house of bondage. Read on. But I will bring them with a mighty hand. This is the new Passover. The Lord said he's going to bring us with a mighty hand. Read on. And a stretched out arm. Read on. And smite Egypt. I'm going to smite Egypt. Destroy America. Read on. And smite Egypt with plagues. With what? With plagues. With plagues. Read on. As before. As before. You all understand? As before. As before. Showing that it's not talking about ancient Egypt. It's talking about a new Egypt. It's talking about America. Okay. But those of you dummies out there. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Not talking about. Not talking about. Eat. I'm America. The hell with you all. So now check it. Read on. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. Read on. And will destroy all the land thereof. And the whole land going to be destroyed. Was ancient Egypt, was the whole land destroyed? So guess what? According to Bible prophecy, the whole of America going to be destroyed. That's right. You know what I mean? You know what? Let me read that. Read that in Revelation 18 and is it 8 or 9 or 10? Read that for me. I got a couple more scriptures, Israel. You'll be here with me. Revelation chapter 18, verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. Read on. Saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city. That great city, that mighty city, Babylon, America. Read on. For in one hour. In one hour, read on. Is thy judgment come. Is thy That's judgment right. come. Okay. What are you reading? Now verse 10, right? Read verse 8. Verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Therefore shall her what? Her plagues. Remember we read that the Lord going plagues are like how we plague her before. Read it again. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Read on. Death and mourning. Read on. And famine. Read on. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. You all understand? Judge with fire. That's thermal nuclear destruction. That's right. Now go to Baruch 4 and 30 and read that for me. Baruch 4 and 30. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 30. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Read on. So the Lord is going to comfort us. Read on. Miserable are they that afflicted thee. The who is afflicted? Who afflicted us? America, right. Britain, all these countries that enslaved us. What God says, read it again. Miserable are they that afflicted thee. Read on. And rejoice that thy fall. And they rejoice when we fall. Read on. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. What which cities we were serving? Didn't we serve in Virginia? Didn't we serve in New York? They still got little babies and um, bones over there on Wall Street. Didn't we serve in Texas? Huh? Didn't we serve in Britain, in Spain, and all these places they enslaved us? What does God say? Read it again. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Read on. Miserable is she that received thy son. Who is the she that received thy sons? America. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Okay. Received thy sons as what? As slaves. Read on. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin. Read on. And was glad of thy fall. Read on. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For her what? own desolation read us but i will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude so god can take away that rejoicing everybody partying and having a good time here in babylon in america god says i'm going to take away that rejoicing read on and her pride shall be turned into mourning read on for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure 
Read on. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. That goes back to Revelation 18. Read on. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. The what? The joy that cometh unto thee from God. Read on. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west. By the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. So you see that? That's the new Passover, brothers. Okay, now go to Exodus. Exodus 12 and 13. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a, to a token upon the houses where ye are. So when we sacrifice the lamb, that blood of the lamb was for a token, right? Read on. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So you all see that when the Lord saw the blood, he passed over us, right? Read on. And the plague shall not be upon you. And the plague was not upon us. Okay, so that blood of that lamb is who? For the Passover. That's for, right. It's Christ, right? Now I want you to go to... Go to Corinthians 5 and 7. First Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. So Christ, he is the Passover lamb that was sacrificed for us. Okay? Go to Revelation 15 and 1. Revelation chapter 15 and verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of God. Read on. That's the plagues where God said he's going to plague this earth with. Read on. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image. Over the beast, over his image, meaning the white image of Christ, the image of the beast. Read on. And over his mark. His mark is his, is his lies. Read on. And over the number of his name. Read on. Stand on the sea of glass. That sea of glass is the kingdom of heaven. Read on. Having the hearts of God. Read on. And they sing the song of Moses. Read on. The servant of God. Read on. And the song of the Lamb saying. And the song of the Lamb saying what? Great and marvelous are they are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Thou King of saints. Read on. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. All nations going to come and worship before our King Christ when he, when he come on this earth. Read on. For thy judgments are made manifest. Read on. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. That's no, it's where you at, Revelation 15? Yes, sir, Revelation 15, verse 5. Okay, 5. Okay, I'm missing some there. All right, jump to, jump to Revelation 12. Huh? That's 11. All right, 12 and 11. Go to Revelation 12 and 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. So, how did we overcome? By the blood of the Lamb. How, did we, how would we be delivered up out of here? By the blood of the Lamb. So that the same way in Exodus where we took that blood and we put it on our doorpost. Guess what? In these last days, the same way how we're going to be delivered up out of here is by what? Read it again. And they overcame him. We overcame Satan and the beast. Read on. By the blood of the Lamb. That's how we're going to be delivered, brothers and sisters. That's how the Lord is going to pass over us and deliver us. By the blood of the Lamb. You all understand? Now, read Exodus 15, last scripture. Exodus chapter 15, verse 5. Start at verse 1. 
Exodus 15, verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord. So this is one of the songs of Moses. Read on. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. Read on. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. This song is after, is when that was sing when we destroyed the Egyptians. Read on. The Lord is my strength and song. And he has become my salvation. Read on. He is my God. He Read on. And I will prepare him in habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. So the Lord is what? A man of war. Read on. The Lord is his name. Read on. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. Read on. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as the stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Now jump to verse 13. What I'm showing you all, this is talking about the destruction of Pharaoh, the destruction of Egypt, when we was delivered. But Moses put a twist in it and is also talking about our deliverance here in the last days. That's okay, right. keep on reading. Jump to 13. Verse 13. Thou in thy mercy has let forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Unto what? Thy holy habitation. Thy holy habitation. Read on. The people shall hear and be afraid. Read on. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. Uh, of what? Palestina. Read it again one more time. The people shall hear. Read on. And be afraid. Read on. Sorrow. Sorrows. Read on. Shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. All Palestinians will be destroyed. You understand? Sorrow That's gonna take right. take hold of them. Read on. The dukes of Edom. Read on. Shall be amazed. All Read of on. these Edomites gonna be amazed. Read on. The mighty men of Moab. Trembling, the tremble Moab gonna be trembling. Read on, trembling shall they take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt. Away. Shall what? Read that again. All the inhabitants of Canaan, all the inhabitants of Canaan shall what? Shall melt. Shall what? Melt. That's when them bombs drop in the future. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall what? Melt away. Read on. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. Read on. By the greatness of thine arm. Read on. They shall be as a still as still as a stone till thy people pass over. Till thy people what? Pass over. More fire. This is the new Passover, man. With that Israel, you're done. No shalom, most high Christ blessed. Okay. Now. Yeah, man. So, yo, so we got a video, we got a rock. Hope you all took good notes. I'll move a little quick. Some things I skip out because I ain't trying to keep you all here too long. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, two and a half hours. I made good time. Almost, yeah. So, yeah, so let's play that video, man. Okay, so Israel, yo, so you all don't pay attention to what you all see. Don't what Christ says when you see the wars and rumors of wars. He says, don't let that what? Trouble you. That's right. You see Iran shooting missiles in Israel. Listen, that's, it's just the beginning. All these things, Russia-Ukraine war is just the beginning. The famine, the earthquakes you see taking place is just the beginning. Okay, when you know Christ is about to return is what? When they start afflicting us. When they start killing some of us. You understand? When they start throwing us in prison and so forth. Yeah. You all enjoy it now and have fun and stuff like that. You know, some pass over, we ain't going to be having fun. But it's going to be in prison. You understand? Yeah, nice. You know what I mean? You see? So, yo, we, yo, right now, brothers, let's give thanks to the Most High. For everything he doing, he even calling us into this truth. That's right. You know? 
Because we could have been out there in the world. We could have been out there in all type of evil. But we understand the most greatest knowledge. We got the best treasure. I always know I would have been rich, man. You understand? I always like, yo, I'm going to become rich. i get rich or die trying. But, yo, I'm really rich. You understand? That's right. This knowledge that we got. This, this wisdom that I found is much more than riches. You understand? So, yo, we got to hold on to what we got. And make sure you all study the scriptures and understand it and build your faith up. Because you all remember what we read in, uh, in, in, in Matthew 24. What's going to happen after the plagues and them things happen? They going to affliction gonna arise on us okay you all be strong man be strong even myself i'm praying that i could endure when things get crazy you know what i mean okay because i'm letting you all know there is there is the government is coming and there is a lot of them already in here sit down stand to watch us you know anybody tell you all anything about guns or doing anything stupid you all better call them out don't sit on there and don't say nothing. Anybody talking any evil stuff about rising up against the government because the only way they're going to get us is how they got the apostles in the time of Nero. What they did, they blamed them for something they did not do. You all understand? The same thing they did in the past to Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. You saw they were setting them up and, and, and you see all that evil that the government was doing against them. Guess what? They're going to do the same thing to us and even worse. Okay? So... Let's play that video, man. Now we some from it's your brother Deacon Abiel in the building here to tell you to fix your face and happy Passover from IUIC Believe! Shalom Israel, most time God's blessed. I'm Deacon Malachi. Now we pass over from Nairobi, Kenya. Captain Matthew. I'm Captain OC.
Shalom, Captain Arama. Shalom, Officer Carmela. Shalom, Officer Hezekiah. Hey, 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 Yo, yo, yo. I mean, my phone dead. Let me put some juice in there. Yo. Yo, I'm telling you all, man. You all don't understand what you all is part of, but you all going, some of you all don't fully understand, but you all will. Our enemies, you all that out there, you all, you, listen, it is what it is. You all see what's going on. You all is not going to stop the word of God. Let me get that. You all not going to stop the word of God. All praises for the bishops. Okay. This, what you are seeing, is prophecies being fulfilled. That's right. You all understand? No, let me get that scripture that Bishop Yawashab like pulling. It's in, um, in the days of these kingdoms. Um, Daniel 2. Yeah, get that and read that for me, man. Okay, get that and read that for me, man. The book of Daniel, chapter 2. And verse 44. For all of you nations, all of you, all of you haters, you nations, you all see what's going on. Are you all afraid? You should be afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. Okay, we know what you are going to do to us. But the most high God is preparing our spirit for that war, for what you're going to do. Okay, read that scripture for me. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. In the days of these kings, meaning in the days when Europe and America is ruling this earth, the Most High God said he's going to establish his kingdom in the midst of their kingdom. That's right. While they're ruling, he's going to rise up his army. He's going to rise up his sons in the midst of them. Okay, read on. Which shall never be destroyed. And they're going to never be able to destroy us. You all understand? They might destroy the name IUIC. Okay, in the future, they might do that. We mightn't be going as IUIC no more. You know what I mean? We might be known as Israel. Yes. But one thing going to stand is that all the men that learn from the bishop, they're going to they gonna make noise on this earth. That's you all right. understand? Okay. We don't. All the men that learn That's from IUIC, right. they're going to make noise on this. Earth. That's what I do know. Okay, and let me say something for you, brothers. They, some, you got people out there that follow us online, and they copy everything we do. I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind. You understand? But sometimes you just go a little too far. What I mean by that? You all know the garments we rock. You know, why make the same thing? You know, and even if you make a garment just like ours, why it gotta be the same color for this? We all change our garment for green this year, right? Why would you get green? Like, come on, it's either come you with now, us dog. or you not with us. If you with us, just join us. You understand what I'm saying? Just don't just you. You know, some people learn. You're learning from us. Be part of us. Christ is not about separation. Why separate and do your own thing? That's self will. You're doing everything we do. Just be part of us. Okay? Be part of us. Let us all be one and get this job done. That's you know what right. I mean? You, you know why you want to do your own thing? You hear IUIC working green garments this year. You're going to set up green garments. As I say, I love them brothers though. You know what I mean? But I can't deal with, yo, come on. Just be real, brethren. You understand? <laughs> you, you, know, you all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so yo, brothers, you all get it right. Understand, you want to be a leader in Israel. Understand what's going to happen. Okay, you going to suffer. Are you, willing, are you willing to drink of the cup of that cup? You putting yourself up as a leader. I want to be over the camp, so I'm not joining IUIC. I'm going to do my own thing. Are you willing to drink of that cup? 
okay? The same cup crap drink, drink of. If you don't, brother, this, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, may the most I bless all of you all, man. I still love you all. You understand? That's right. Okay. Now, because emulation is good, you know. Emulation is good, but... You know what I mean? Sometimes brothers go a little too far with it. You know what I mean? Emulation is good. You could learn the teachings from us. You could, you know, but it's sometimes you all take it a little too far. Okay, we change our garments to green this year. You change the same thing. You come with the same. Come on, man. <laughs> you know? Okay, so anyways, even the whole setup here, all of that, you all got, like, come on. Where you got this from? You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, man. So anyways. Hey, is either you with us or come on, man. Anyways, let the Lord do what he's doing, man. I don't know. I don't know. Let me leave that alone. Ah, let me see. Okay, I want to read one more scripture, man. Read that for me. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 26. Oh, yeah, read that again. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed. So that kingdom that is setting up shall never be destroyed. Read on. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So nobody going to be conquering us or none of that no more. And we going, ain't going back in no captivity or none of that no more. Okay. Now from there, I want that. Uh, that's it. Now jump back. Jump to that one scripture that I want there. Second Ezra chapter 2 verse 26. As for the servants... Whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. So not, none of us, none of them servants that the Lord gave Zion go and perish. Read on. For I will require them from among thy number. Those are you all that have been called and that you are chosen. You're not going to know if you're chosen. You're going to know when you're chosen when you are endured. But some of you all, go, some of you all are chosen and you're going to get the kingdom. Read on. Be not weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. The day of trouble and heaviness is the day of doom. Okay, Jacob trouble. Read on. Others shall weep and be sorrowful. Others shall weep and be sorrowful. There shall be gnashing of teeth and weeping. Read on. But thou. But thou. Shall be merry. We gonna be merry. Read on. And have abundance. And we gonna have abundance. Read on. The heathen shall envy thee. The heathens, the other nations, they gonna envy us. Read on. But they shall be able to do nothing. But they what? They shall be able to do nothing. But they ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Read on. Against thee. Against us. You all understand that? That's right. <laughs> you done know. Yo, Israel, you done know. We're bringing in the... So tonight is a Sabbath. This is the closing out of the Passover. Everybody be blessed, man. Shout out to all the leadership that's out of the country. Putting in the work. You brothers be safe. Be strong. Mosiah in Christ bless you all, man. You done know.